Hello, dear friends. Many have noticed the change and I bring today some explanations. Opinion piece. Cosmic anomaly. Something has changed. Beautiful month of July. The sun has changed. Coalition report. Space weather change. Celestial dance of awakening. Exotic and extraordinary origin. Let's start. The coalition reports that a remarkable and unprecedented energy anomaly has been detected in the Earth's magnetic field. It states that the energetic pattern and frequency of a fascinating energy wave bears the clear signature of an exotic origin. This extraordinary event has imprinted itself on the Schumann resonance graph in defiance of all known patterns and expectations. This exotic energy wave penetrates at least three dimensions simultaneously, illustrating its multidimensional nature, according to Michael, to Michael and the Pleiadians. The Sun is undergoing an energetic transformation as cosmic waves from the galactic core interact with it on a daily basis. A great wave of cosmic light is known to be the primary event that activates the genetic code and raises the level of consciousness of humankind into the fifth dimension. Such a cosmic solar event occurs every 13,000 years and has occurred five times in Earth's past. Solar storm. The intensity of high frequency light lifts the, the veils of limitation and expanded levels of consciousness are reached. In recent days, the Earth has been engulfed in powerful solar winds and intense geomagnetic storms, which have added to the overall effects. The star seeds are feeling a moderate influx of ascension symptoms, symptoms in response to this cosmic influx. These symptoms are a testament to the profound transformation and enrichment taking place within each soul as the celestial dance of awakening unfolds. To navigate through the effects of this extraordinary light, it is essential to nourish and support your physical body. Consume only natural energetic foods that nourish your body and drink plenty of pure mineral water to keep you hydrated. Practice breathing techniques and spend time in meditation in order to integrate the profound changes within you. Seek support from nature as it acts as an influential channel to harmonize and ground these powerful energies. And of course, keep your beloved crystals close to your auric field so that they can serve as beacons of light and as a means of channeling this divine energy. Remember, you are not alone in this venerable journey of awakening, for countless souls are treading the same path, united in purpose and connected by cosmic threads of evolution. As we navigate together through this extraordinary cosmic dance, May you find the strength, guidance, and solace in solace in the unity of your collective journey. UFO disclosure. In parallel, UFO disclosure emerged last week as an important and wholly debate topic, even within mainstream circles. The leaders who were there are working diligently to determine the most appropriate approach to address this important revelation without causing too much disruption, but, but rest assured that the time has come for the truth to be revealed to all humankind, marking a monumental shift in collective understanding. Harvard's top scientists claim to have found the remains 
of an alien spacecraft on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Professor Avi Loeb, Chair of Harvard's Astronomy Department from 2011 to 2020, has combed the bottom of the Pacific Ocean for two weeks in search of fragments of a mysterious space object that scratched in 2014 off the coast of Papua Nueva New Guinea <coughs> from interstellar space. Using a kind of magnetic sled, his team found 50 small iron sphere shaped fragments, which must have been from a different natural environment in the solar system, or one of technological civilization. July Energy July is the month where the sun is tinged with gold and the evenings become magical. The July energy is a dragon dream and a gateway corridor to a gateway. This energy is about providing the necessary upgrade for ED contact. According to the Arcturian Council 90 through Daniel Scranton, you can hydrate, rest, relax and consciously open to it. You can express aloud to your guides your desire for help in acclimatizing and assimilating these energies. They will be helpful to those who help themselves, for when you are open to something and ready for it, you tend to receive it more graciously. Or put it in another way, God helps those who help themselves. July is the seventh month of the year in the Gregorian calendar. In the northern hemisphere, it is an all summer month with longer days, high temperatures and warm weather. In the southern hemisphere, July corresponds to the middle of winter, with shorter days, lower temperatures and cold weather. In the northern hemisphere, July marks the full summer period. The days are long and warm, allowing for outdoor activities and holidays. It is common for many people to take advantage of this weather to enjoy outdoor activities, such as going to the beach, barbecues or water sports. Hope, oh, excuse me. Everyone can rightly hope for a prosperous and healthy future. For the first time, we will truly live as first citizens on planet Earth to develop our humankind's potential as our Creator always intended, without war, hunger, poverty and misery. We will enjoy our lives to the fullest. The sleepers, who do not yet know anything, may wake up and not be able to understand any of this good news. All who are incarnated here and having their last experience in duality, this existence will determine who will go to the new 5D Earth, to the new cycle, which is no longer a succession of reconciliation and trials. And those who are not yet at the required frequency will withdraw and will have to redo their lessons on another 3D planet in the universe. The veil that holds our souls captive on this planet will be lifted through the process of reincarnation to free humankind to evolve as the Creator intended. It is either or both. The multitudes will awaken in mass or the monetary system will collapse. The coalition has the luxury of waiting to the perfect moment to intervene, but the final decision will be made by God. The world is on the threshold of permanent peace, but right now we are going through a great crisis. Crisis. The world is facing a major sovereign debt crisis, and that is going to turn many markets upside down. Do not expect a voluntary rise in the short-term interest rates. Instead, another round of money printing 
has started around the world in the hope of stabilizing falling markets. The problem now is that this is having a minimal and only short-term effect. In recent years, investors around the world have ignored risk. That is why this panic is so cruel. The Fed will put in additional funds so that banks have the capacity to meet the needs of all their depositors. The Fed promises to, flight infl to fight inflation and the bursters raise the recession bet. The US could see inflation drop like a rock without going into recession, says Bank of America. The weaponization of the dollar has countries scrambling for an alternative currency, says an IMF official. Ethiopia asks to join BRICS because of its multilateralism. Iran will join the Shanghai alliance with China and Russia next week. What will you use as money if the dollar dies? The dollar could one day go the way of all payback currencies of the past and be consumed by inflation. It seems unlikely, but it is possible. Given the policy size of the last three years, perhaps we should be surprised that it hasn't happened yet. If the dollar loses its reserve currency position, that could trigger a mass could trigger a massive repatriation of dollars that would set in motion the end times. According to Judy Pinton, on Saturday 1st July, the international financial markets would have been transformed into a new economy based on digital assets. The new QFS would be fully interconnected to computers around the world to coordinate currency transactions through the ISO 20022 payment system. She further believes that on 15th July we would have alignments in place to secure this new economy and that thereafter we would be under the gold standard protocol. Europe. More than 1,300 arrested in France on the fourth night of riots and violence. The death of a 16-year-old French teenager at the hands of a policeman led to several days of demonstrations, clashes with officers and acts of vandalism. Nearly 500 buildings and more than 550 cars are burnt in one night in France during protests. A total of 9,000 900 firefighters have been deployed to fight more than 3,800 street fires and 1,900 vehicle fires. France reveals that its debt has exceeded 3 trillion euros. Elon Musk is shocked by the number of guns in the hands of protesters in France. Musk says Twitter has imposed daily, limited, daily limits on tweet reading. Musk challenges Zuckerberg to a martial arts fight in Rome's Colosseum. Facebook censors in Kenya call their work torture. The Dutch government wants to close some 11,000 farms. Spanish hotel bookings have increased by almost 70% in the last year. Sanchez announces that Spain will provide 55 million in aid to Ukraine. Pedro Sanchez promises to support Ukraine no matter what the price to pay. In quotes. Ukrainian authorities demand that monks leave the Kiev Caves Monastery by 4th July. Kiev and NATO acknowledge that Ukraine's counteroffensive is less swift and successful 
than expected. A geographer, Malio Dinucci, points out, in quotes, the recession rearing it had, its head in the European Union was caused by the high price of energy resulting from the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipeline. Anthony Blinken called the blockade a tremendous opportunity in quotes that has made the US the main supplier of liquefied natural gas to Europe. The Davos Forum calls for rewriting religious scriptures using artificial intelligence to create a new globalized Bible. Yuval Noah Harari argues that the Bible is fake news, in quotes, full of hate speech and that elites could use artificial intelligence to replace the Bible and create a world religion. USA Tougher anti-immigrant law goes into effect in Florida with more controls and restrictions. Raytheon President Greg Havis believes that Beijing controls the supply chain through its reliance on rare earths and other materials from China. This is what Moody told US policy makers, in quotes, when I first visited the US as Prime Minister, India was the 10th largest economy in the world. Today, India is the 5th largest economy and will be the 3rd largest economy. We became the only G20 country to meet its Paris commitment. We made renewables more than 40% of our energy sources nine years ahead of the 2030 target. Americas. The 16 Mexican officials kidnapped in Chiapas are released. Mexico's former mayor praises her fellow migrants. They are extremely important to the US economy. Labor reform divides Argentina ahead of presidential elections. Crop failures in Chile could take three to four years to recover. False positives in Colombia. The country has to trust in restorative justice. Bolivia is on its way to becoming a leader in lithium industrialization. Brazilian justice disqualifies Bolsonaro politically. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.